So now that we have our product locked, we go over to campaigns, and this is where we track every campaign relating to every product that we're going to launch. So we have Sue Table Lamp launching in fall 2020, and every campaign has one of three statuses, upcoming, building, and live. So in the building phase, we decide which channels we want to prioritize for that specific campaign. So for Xu Table Lamp, we're going to send a tweet, we're going to write a blog post, and we're going to send a message on Facebook or write a Facebook post is, is more appropriate. And so when we move it over to building, that's when we start creating the content for that campaign. You'll notice that we have these linked records. So linked records are associations across tables that tell you that these pieces of content are related to this campaign. So if I open those, you can see that we have those in our content pipeline table. And that's where we track the status of each piece of content that we're creating. Now, the second automation is that we want to have those work items created automatically for the channels that we've prioritized. So when I move this over to building, you'll notice that the three linked records are automatically created for the channels that we've prioritized. So you see a linked record for the tweet, for the Facebook post, and for the blog post, which are the three channels that we prioritize for that campaign. And the reason we do that is to make sure that we don't miss anything in the process, nothing falls through the cracks, and we could really see all of our content, all of our pipeline, we know that it's up to date because we automate the creation of those work items. So start thinking in your workflow, are there moments where you'd like to either be notified or notify the team, or second, that you'd like to create records automatically because uh, something in your workflow requires you to create those records. Let's go over to challenge number two, which was scheduling that work, those work items, these linked records, creating them automatically. So this is really interesting, this particular type of automation, interesting when a moment in your workflow requires you to keep track of additional steps. So let's say a deal closes, you'll need to go ahead and you know, get, get the contract signed, get additional information, and you want to be able to track that work where when something hits a certain status, you can automatically create the records that re help you track the status of every additional step. In our case, we're saying when a record is building and for a specific channel, let's go ahead and create the linked records, those work items. So let's go ahead and go into automations here. I'm gonna open up that panel. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back, go back to our little home screen here. And I'm gonna create a new automation, which is called um, create action item. And I'm going to specify that it's for one channel, and you'll understand why in just a moment. And we'll start with Twitter. So let me see here on the right. Now we have all the information we need. We have the channel and that status. So let's choose the right trigger. So in our case, we can't use when record is created because we already have these records in our table. What we want to say is when a record is in the building, st has status building, and has a particular channel, let's go ahead and create that relevant linked record. So in our case, we're gonna use when record matches conditions. So this trigger lets you be extremely precise as to what conditions a record has to have to trigger the automation. This will become clear in just a moment. So we're saying a record has to have conditions in the campaign table, and then we could specify what conditions it has to have. So we're saying when a record is in the building phase, so when status is building, that's what should trigger the automation, but we don't want to trigger for each channel. In this case, we only want to trigger for Twitter so we can create that relevant linked record, the relevant information or task for that specific piece of content. So our second condition is going to be, and the channel has Twitter. So those two conditions have to be met to run this automation so we can create 
that linked record for Twitter. So clicking done, that's saying this trigger this automation when a record moves into building and has the specific channel that we want to target. And now at the add action, what we want to do is create a record in our content pipeline table. So we're going to go ahead and create a record. That's our action. We're going to create a record in the content pipeline. And then we can specify which fields we want to pre-fill automatically. So let's move over to content pipeline. And let's see some of those fields. So the first one is the name. You'll see that there's a structure to it. So tweet and then the name of the product. So the name is the first thing I'm going to pre-fill. I'm going to say it's a tweet. I know that we've just triggered for that specific channel. And next, we're going to go to step one. So I'm clicking that plus button so I can bring in the name of the product. So continue. I'm pulling in the product. And now the product has some multiple properties. The one we want is the name. So I'm importing, I'm not importing, I'm adding in the name of the product. Then I want to link to the right product. So I'm just going to go ahead and that's a lookup, no problem. Next, I'm going to add in the status. I wanted to start right here on the drafting phase. So status going to select drafting. So I'm just pre-filling the information I already know for this specific product. Next, I can have the channel. So let's go into another view where we see those that information post by platform. So you'll notice that channel is one of our fields as well. I'm going to select Twitter or tweet. Twitter is the right one. There we go. And I'm finally going to link to the right campaign. That way it shows up as a linked record. I'm going to click plus here, going from step one, pulling in the campaign name, and that's going to create the association. So we're pre-filling a lot of information that used to be manual. So I'm seeing some questions in the chat. We're going to do this one more time to make sure that everyone followed along. So let's turn this on. So we're saying when a record has channel Twitter, and is moved into building, go ahead and create that Twitter linked record. Let's turn this on. Very important. Never forget to turn on your automations. Big mistake that I make all the time. Now let's take this Xu table lamp and move it over to building. So we should see a linked record here. There we go. And we could see that it's run successfully. And you'll notice in the content pipeline, I see Xu table lamp. Let's go back into our Kanban view. I have that tweet that we now need to prioritize. But you'll notice that we only created one of the two. We also want the blog linked record, right? So we actually need a second automation that does that specific linked record that'll be very similar to the one we've just created. So let me actually move this back. And I'm going to delete this one because we're going to run it again with both automations in place. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to duplicate this automation just to make it a little faster here. So we're going to call this blog. Let me just change some of the conditions. So let's walk through this one more time. So in this case, we're saying when status is building and channel has any of blog. There you go. So that's, we're just changing that first configuration and then we're going to create a linked record for this specific trigger. And then in the record, we're going to change something. So instead of tweet, it's going to say blog post. So blog post like that. The channel is going to be blog. Let me just make sure that that is the right name. There we go, it is. And we're going to link to the same campaign. So walking you through it one more time, we're saying when a record has status building and contains the channel blog, go in ahead and create the record for that specific work item, write the blog post, put it into drafting, set channel as blog, 
and a link to the right campaign, pre-filling all the information we know about that specific work item. Clicking done, we now have our automation in place. I'm gonna turn it on, always important to remember to turn on your automations. And now when we move this campaign into building, it's actually gonna trigger both automations. It's gonna trigger this Twitter one and it's gonna trigger the blog, one, the blog one, creating our two linked records. So let me go ahead and do that. And there you go. You have your two linked records or we have our two linked records and now we've automatically started tracking the status of content for that campaign. Now, if you wanted to fill this out, you would create one for Facebook and Instagram. And I'll let that as, a, as an exercise you can do when we send you the base after this webinar. All right, so let me know in the chat, are there moments in your workflow that you need to create linked records or new records? And this is extremely important or relevant when a moment in your workflow requires you to keep track of additional information. So for instance, let's say you have a new tenant and you need to have them sign the paperwork, get their bank account information, and you want to track each of those individual work items across a status, for instance. So you'll be able to track that automatically where you can create those linked records.